guess I should probably pay attention to how far I'm going down here. Uh, where are my blocks? So the evacuation area, there is one additional spot underneath the spawner, which we've already got mapped out with that block. And then there's an additional four blocks. One, two, three, four. So you got to get the mobs out of that area as quick as possible. So the easiest way to do that is to just have a straight drop. And usually at this point, you can go down one more and put water down. The problem is that mobs now, they swim. And when they swim, they bob up and down. And I'm thinking that when they bob up and down that their heads are going to come into that area. So I'm thinking if we go down even farther, then because we've got a beacon and this is going to take like no time at all, then I think this should be okay. And I think it'll be a lot faster. I'm curious. I'm curious as whether this is going to be faster than the zombie spawner that I have set up in the swamp. You said in Pix's chat a, a number of times that you feel like his his uh, survival guide is the new Survive and Thrive. Well, that's great. I think that's I think it's uh, a good time uh, for Pixel Refs to be doing it. It's it's, it's in, with all the changes coming to Minecraft, like they're changing villager trading, like there's all that stuff that would have been covered before that uh, that needs to be covered again. And Pixel Refs does got such a good job with it. Like he's got he's got such a good presentation style for tutorials that. Um, I think it works out well. I'm just grabbing a little extra granite while I saw it. So I think we can go down another two here. Oh, I want that back. Jungle wood is the one additional spawning space. There are three more blocks. So one, two, three brings us to the bottom of the evacuation area. So I can just put a marker. So there, there's the evacuation area. We got to get them out of that ASAP. And so then there's a too high spot for the height of a zombie. And I feel like if we put water at this level that they would bounce up and down into that spot. So I'm thinking I might've gone down a little bit too far. So if, if I'm a zombie here and my head is bouncing in water, yeah, you know what? I'm thinking this is probably okay. Right? Like my head's not my head's not hitting that block. So I think this is gonna be I think I'm standing on the floor. I think this is gonna be our floor. And then if I've got water over on this side pushing this way out into a trough then that water should not should not affect anything actually I can probably push them into the middle that might be the easiest way to go because that way it'll keep them in deeper water yeah mobs and ice has changed I agree Paranor. and what it is what happens is you've got a water source and you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these two blocks, uh, these two blocks right here, the mob slows slows down and goes really slow on these last these last two blocks. So that's why I'm thinking I could probably put the trough in the middle. Um, because that way it will um it'll speed things up a little bit because here, one, two, three, four, five, and then I'll put ice maybe on those two blocks. And it should work should work okay so this bottom part here is going to be it's going to be granite as well so i know we just covered this but i'm going to double check this one more last time before i put in this entire floor i want to make sure that this is going to be it's going to make sense so if this piece of diorite is our water level here is the water, blah, 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 to there. And if I'm a zombie in the water, even if I'm bouncing at this height, yeah, you know what? Let's just, 
let's just for the sake of safety and doing this once, let's just go down one more level. This will be our granite. And this stone will be the water level. That puts a full four blocks there. And I think that should be plenty. Now I'm pretty sure this should have enough granite for us in the silo here. Uh, oh yeah, we should be fine. So I still don't know where the AFK spot is going to be for this. We can stand above it, directly above it, up to 14 blocks. And there's a little bit of a, of a leeway left and right, but not a whole lot. So we'll have to sort out that situation as well. So I'm thinking the easiest thing to do is going to be to carve out a staircase on the inside of this wall. Just do this. And because I hate hitting my head, we'll make it three high. That. Perfect. When I do walls, I tend to do two blocks at a time and just kind of like cruise around. Seems to be the easiest way to do it. You feel like you make progress faster. I'm not sure if it is faster, but I find this easier in terms of like, you don't have to like change the direction of your mouse very often. If at all. When people build rooms like this, when you do rooms or walls or borders, like perimeters of stuff, do you do you do that? Do you like do two at a time? This is actually coming together quite quickly. We're almost there. I think the only other part that's going to take a long time will be doing some coordinate hunting and figuring out where we want the zombies to come out. Because I was trying to think about what we could do for a killing mechanism. And then, of course, I realized that the zombies... Are, uh, they're going to be able to be killed in the sunlight. So we can just put them out in the daylight and it's all good. <laughs> we don't have to come up with anything fancy. So I'm just going to put them in a little glass chamber and let them cook. Should be fun to watch. Uh, it'll be inconspicuous. We're not going to do the, the surface build today. Um, I want to talk to Alistair about that. Alistair seemed to be really excited about it. So maybe he and I can come up with some fun ways of, uh, of turning these zombies into, into paste. But for now, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to get rid of these blocks too. So this is the inside of the meat farm so far. <laughs> it's, it's, real, it's real pink. <laughs> too funny. Okay, so while we're down here, we can maybe take this stuff out too. And all of this is going to have to be ice as well. So let's see here. So they come down. There's a two gap. And so we will want... I guess I can put the ice at this level. Actually, I guess I can put the ice at this level. Because, yeah, they can't get out of that. Cool. So let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. And let's just drop them here. This is going to serve two purposes too. If anybody is mining nearby and they need to, uh, they come across it, then they'll know that this is not, not to be tampered with. I think I've, I've mentioned that before in my videos. I've, uh, I did that with diorite and polished diorite in our mine because we had uh, three, three spider spawners. And so that farm, uh, the whole thing is just coated on the inside with uh, polished andesite. Excuse me, not diorite, andesite. Uh, because that way, if you come across it in a mine, you know because it's polished that it was placed there by a player. And you're not going to mine, you're not going to mine into it. Uh, 
we can't have the zombies within three blocks of the wall. So if this is 290, that's going to be easy math. That means they cannot be within this zone. So 290 is the wall. So zombies cannot be within one, two, three. So that means that we're going to put the elevator in this sort of area right there. And we may push it just a little bit further. Just out of curiosity, I'm, I'm going to take the coordinates for this spot right here. So 285 and 770. I think that's where our, that's really close to where our trap door is. 285 and 770. Going the wrong way. So it's underneath that tree, which is not ideal. So 770 is the left, right. So we don't have a choice about 770. 770 has to be where they come up. But let's not do 285. Let's do, we're gonna have to take this tree down, essentially. Unfortunately, as green as I am, we're going to take that down. And I think it's also got some adjacent buddies here. Sorry, I could actually use some more birch leaves. I like them in the bottom of ponds. They look really good. They look very mossy. So I have shears on me. Why am I doing this the slow way? So this will be the temporary arrival and holding zone for the zombies. And we are going to do it at 770, 283, or 284, 282. Let's do it right there, 282 and 770. So now we have to figure out where they will get down to when they come through this way. So this is five, I think. One, two, three, four, five. And then we do another five. And I think this will work out just fine. We're going to have to back this up just a little bit. So this is where I need to go back up and get my soul sand and some other equipment. If this is going to be our soul sand, then this down here needs to be, that's going to be water. And this is going to be water and this is where the cobblestone wall goes i think i may need to look up a screenshot because it's, this is probably going to annoy me but you need to have a two block lead up and actually i guess that could be ice that and then this will go into this yes I realize I'm putting granite down here when I probably don't have to but it's okay it's helping me visualize what's happening So this goes there, and then this section here can only be three tall, 
has to have three signs on it. And I think that's it. I think that's how it has to roll. I'd have to, I have to remember, I was just at the Mesa the other day and I still have to think about how this actually looks. Oh, I'm out of, I'm out of granite and I left it all up at the top. So I'm pretty sure, oh, I made a mistake. This is too, this is too low. I thought it felt weird. I was like, why does this feel deeper than it should be? Because this should be here. Right. So there's water there, water there, and then Yeah, that's right. I think that's right. Is it weird that I'm like essentially decorating the inside of the spawner? <laughs> I feel like Pixelris does this too. I can't be the only one. So I think the rest of this is just going to be glass. Uh, I brought my glass box for good reason. Man, I can't place blocks to save my life. I think that should be fine. Goes to there. Still gives us some access. I might actually just leave these two open for now. Okay, so I think that's the most, I think that's most of that done. So now we can go back down here. Get out into the main area and just fill in, get rid of that, fill that in. So really it's just the ice, the water streams. And I guess we're gonna put signs here. I feel like fence gates would look better. Not that it really matters, but maybe some, some fence gates, um, some jungle fence gates, why not? Live, live dangerously and adventurously, right? Safely get rid of this. So we can now put the water down. This is super easy with ice blocks. Let's do that. Now we just break these guys along with, put a nice block there. So I'm thinking that's thinking that's deep enough where they'll get pushed out this way and they can't get out, right? Yeah, that works. So that's one part done. So now that we've got the downward flowing water from the top, we can put in the kelp and it will automatically go, turn all this into water sources. I've done this a number of times on stream, so it's pretty straightforward. Do that. Now at this point, it's gonna be very important that the zombies have some place to live when they're up here, because I do not want to be flooding the countryside with zombies and I'm going to add a little glass house and I think we'll just shoot them out this way. And this will be the little 
the little flaming chamber of doom. So let's just maybe do that there. And whoops. I guess we can just have them come straight over. And I guess we could do, I kind of want one more fence gate, but we'll do an ugly sign for now. So they come up here, there'll be a water source here that pushes them over. This will have to be a sign. And then guess we just do that. Again, this is really going to look terrible. I think I put a glass piece somewhere where it wasn't supposed to go. Yes. So all the way over to there. So even if they don't light on fire, entity cramming should take care of the rest. And then we can put chest and a hopper so the chest can go here and we'll put the hopper in, in just a second oh wait a minute there'll have to be two hoppers no i can i can put the chest back farther so what am i thinking chest goes there hopper goes there right All right, I think that's just about ready. I just need a hopper and then we need to figure out the AFK spot. And that is all the technical stuff done. So there we have a little zombie fire trap powered by the sun. And I think the last thing we need to do now is, there we go. So will this stop a mob? I'm going down if it's like right at this section here no it should not right that's science that's that's the read that i get from that is that because it didn't stop me it won't stop the zombie okay so that is the bottom of this thing all forcing guys uh and i guess gals if there were any zombie gals uh down into the center and then they get scooted along here and they get taken out the long way but I need to take a short break, and when I take that break, I'm going to go look at a screenshot to make sure that I've done this right. I, something here is not correct. I, I should be moving along here and be pushed up into that water stream on my own. And I should hit my head on this block right there, but it's not happening. So i got to go double check something. Uh, but I do need to take a quick break, and then I will be back. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to fly over to the inn just to kind of give myself a little spot. Uh, to be safe while away from the keyboard. And then we will finish this up.